Hey guys, so I got another speed test comparison video. This time we're going to be looking at the Sony Xperia Z5 versus Samsung Galaxy Note 7. So let's go and get started. Both are powered off. We're going to power them on. And both these phones are on the latest version of Marshmallow. Of course, the Z5 is nearly a year older. It came out about a year now, uh, whereas Note 7 just been out for a month. And this is still one of the original Note 7s with the battery explosion issue. Uh, still need to get that replaced. I'm going to wait for Best Buy to get some units in stock. So yeah, obviously the Note 7 should win most of these tests. It is, um, again, almost a whole year newer. And also, um, it costs around twice as much money. So you see there, Note 7 winning pretty easily the first test. All right, so let's go get started. Open up the apps. And I know my setup isn't that great with the lighting and everything. Uh, just moving to a new apartment, still trying to fix that. But we'll open up Temp Run 2 first. Okay, so a very surprising start here. Looks like the Z5 is going to beat it out. All right, interesting. So the Z5 winning the first app test. And just to show you all that everything is closed out. So you see it there. And you see there, only one app open on each. All right, so let's go. We'll do Chrome later as usual. Let's do CNN next. And that one goes to the Note 7. Let me just try adjusting this lighting a little bit. All right, not sure if it's any better, but anyways, we'll go on to settings. So I think that went to the Note 7. Uh, let's do iFunny. Note 7 by a tad. Uh, let's see YouTube. And again, that is Note 7. And Calculator. Very close. Clock. I think that may have been Note 7. Uh, it's actually kind of far for me to see just with my new setup here. Um, let's go to Asphalt 8. Actually, no, Calendar next. Alright, Asphalt 8. So, let's look at some of the specs on these. Uh, the Z5 has a 5.2 inch 1080p screen display versus 5.7 uh, Quad HD on the Note 7. 5 megapixel camera on both for the front facing camera. Uh, 12 megapixels on the Note 7 for the rear, and you see they're winning this pretty easily. Uh, 23 megapixels for the rear on the Z5. Although I do have some camera comparisons up so you can see for yourself, because obviously there's a lot more to the camera than just megapixels. And the Snapdragon 820 on the Note 7 versus 810 last year's model on the Z5. Uh, let's go to photos next. Alright, so again, going to give that to the Note 7. Uh, let's, yeah, so I ran this and to do benchmark earlier. Just to give you guys an idea of what the difference is going to be just in terms of raw specs. So you see, obviously, a pretty big difference. Score of 144,000 versus about 92,000 on the Z5. Uh, and if I bring up the ranking... See that currently this is the top for any phone released. But as you know, there's a lot more to it than just the raw numbers, which is the purpose of this test.
and eBay. Again, that is going to go to Note 7. ESPN. And again, I think that was Note 7. Um, so, Note 7 winning most of the tests with the exception of the first one. There were some ties, but uh, I think that Note 7 pretty clearly won the app opening test. Um, so, there are some other tests I'm going to do next. And before I do that, I'm going to show you a look at the phones. So just the back, now both of these have glass backs. Uh, the Z5 is more of a frosted glass back, so a little bit harder to break. Personally, I really like the design on both the phones. Let me know what you guys think looks better. Um, both of them also are made of metal on the sides. Again, really nice design. You're definitely getting premium design with both phones. Uh, so for the fingerprint scanner, now that pretty easily I think goes to the Note 7 and just one example of this so the fingerprint scanner on the Z5 is located on the power button right here um, so I guess you can set up multiple fingerprints so you can have one here let's say if you're using your left hand you're gonna hold it like this so I guess you, you can set up a fingerprint like this um, but even for the main one I really find that I have to really position my finger a certain way um, and I usually have to reset this pretty often. Now Sony's definitely improved this in models uh, that we re rather released this year. But as you can see, not that fast, not that accurate. Uh, Note 7 fingerprint scanner, in my opinion, is definitely better. And again, guys, this is kind of be expected because this phone costs around $900 versus $450 for the Z5. And this is an older phone, of course. But nonetheless, let's get to some more tests. Uh, we'll do the camera test. So this is just opening up the camera app and taking a few pictures. Just seeing how fast I can take pictures. And let me put them on the same settings. Resolution 16 by nine. Twelve megapixels. Yeah, so like usual, it's gonna be kind of tough to get them on the same. Uh, yeah, like usual, I'll just do the maximum for both. So that would be twenty-three megapixels versus twelve. You know, because most likely you're gonna be taking a lot of your pictures at the max anyway, so. Alright, so Note 7 looks to be taking the pictures quicker. And again, guys, obviously this is just one of many tests for the camera. In terms of actual quality, again, check out the channel if you want to see more on that. And we'll have more videos like that in the future. Um, this next we'll open up Google. This is probably an app that people will use more than anything Google Chrome. All right, so let's go to CNN first. So that goes to the note seven. Uh, let's go to Yahoo. Again, note seven. Uh, let's go to go to IGN and then Nintendo last. All right, so that was pretty easily note seven and then Nintendo.
All right, so that, that was Z5. Um, just looking at some more of the specs on these. I mentioned Snapdragon 810 versus 820 on Note 7. Uh, 3 gigabytes of RAM for the Z5 versus 4 on Note 7. 32 gigabytes of internal storage versus 64 on Note 7, both have micro SD card support. Uh, of course, both have fingerprint scanners. 2900 capacity battery versus 3500 on Note 7. Uh, the Note 7, in addition to the fingerprint scanner, also has an iris scanner. Also has an always on display, which is a really underrated feature in my opinion. Um, Note 7 also has this pen bottom so you can jot down notes, pin it to the screen, whatever. Uh, let's look at some of the other ones. Both are waterproof phones, great feature to have. Um, so in terms of connection, both these phones have ports at the bottom. This is, the Z5 is micro USB. First is a newer USB Type-C on Note 7. And again, the main thing in terms, or rather the huge thing in terms of specs is that the Z5 is around 450 versus about 900 for Note 7. All right guys, so hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more. Now I have a lot of phones coming up. Um, I have the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus coming this week. Uh, and then shortly after that, I'll have the X Compact and the XR, or no, actually, codename XR. Now it's the Xperia XZ. Um, so yeah, guys, a whole lot of content coming. Thanks for watching. And once again, please subscribe if you aren't already for more of these videos in the future.